is from uh, Prison Mike, as we call him. <laughs> yeah, Sisterus. But frankly, it's just easier to call him Prison Mike. <laughs> That's the meme he goes with, I believe. Uh, I'm going to be trying to figure out this deck like... Oh, Eric, why aren't you a mod? I'll make you a mod, buddy. All right, you're a mod. You, use your sword wisely, Eric. Um, I'm going to try to figure this deck out. I, I've never played with it, but it seems sort of intuitive. Although I'm kind of worried about the chalice and one-drop interaction, but maybe maybe that's not anything to worry about. How does this deck beat Force of Will? Uh, I think the answer is you have to draw enough cards that matter versus a Force of Will deck. Oh, you can kill a Chalice with Karn. That is a good point. That is a good point. Um, but really, if you want to group cards in this deck together, I think here's how you should view the deck. All of these cards produce mana. That's 35 cards in the deck. These untap your mana sources or your Mystic Forge. Mystic Forge and Karn are your like big threats. And this is also essentially a big mana rock, as I think. If you view it in this way, you're way more likely to get flooded than screwed with this deck. So I think you're supposed to keep a lot of like land, white hands or whatever. Um, Defense Grid is basically a card versus Force of Will and the like. Same for this. Don't know about these Thought Knots. I don't really understand why they're supposed to come in yet. You have four Crypts because you're a Karn deck and this is one of the best cards for a Karn deck to have access to. Uh, for Graveyard Hate. Redundant and Snaring Bridges. A Ratchet Bomb. Coding, because like sometimes you just need to like grind them by killing one permanent per turn. Or porting their like, Planeswalker or whatever. Uh, Ballista is the actual win con in this deck. But it, if you Lattice them, they die, generally. There's like very few matchups where a Lattice doesn't actually kill your opponent. The major one I can think of is like Dredge. Or... Um, Oops, all spells, really. So, but in those cases, like, you're just getting crypts anyways. And then maybe Lattice singing them later. I don't know. Uh, if that happens, I'll think about it. Control, decks with hate. Yeah, that makes sense. Lack of dogs. Well, let's see. Let's see how many artifact dogs there are. I'm going to look for how many artifact dogs there are. I don't think there are many. Um, hound. Ooh, there's Watchdog. Do you want to put Watchdog in the deck, Honorog? There's also Leashling. There's Corpse Cur. There's Drosh, Dross Ripper, and there's Immolating Soul Eater. On the other hand, there is also Warcat, which is a, which is related to Leashling. I think Leashling and Wirecat are sort of like the same card. Oh yeah, there are artifact changelings. There's a Universal Automaton from Modern Horizons, and there's also Paper Ti Tiger. And there's Slash Panther. All right. Um, in any case, I think we've derailed enough. Battle Res Arthas, thank you for the follow. That's a sweet username. I recognize the the reference. But uh, yeah, we're going to play a league with this deck at least. Probably two leagues. All right. Yep, this is the correct deck. I don't know anything about the deck, so I'm not going to change anything. Artifact creature cat. I remember the days of Slash Panther killing Jaces in Vintage. Those were some wild days. This is a sweet card. Well, kind of ruined Vintage, I guess, but it's not sweet. Uh, yeah, September, you can pay 50% and still sub to me to get some sweet emotes like this. Uh, and there's another one. 
There's a few others. All right, we got a match, looks like. Time to see if I can figure out how to play this deck blind. And maybe I can't, but you know, there's gonna be a lot of mulliganing. <laughs> you know when you put Serum Powder into your deck, you're probably going to mulligan. Well, I do like ducks, so it might be appropriate. Yo, Grape Shot, thanks for the sub. All right. We need a few more mods, so. Um, so we have a gas card, which is important because as I mentioned in the beginning, I think it's very easy to get flooded with decks like these. So this is, this is definitely a keep though, I think. Um, turn one, I think I'm just going to go, hmm. I guess the question is, which land do I play in turn one? Note, since the Opal's not online, I can't actually play... Wait, hold on. If I go Tomb, Petal, Basalt, Monolith, Opal... No, that's still not enough, right? Yeah, that's not enough, because this will not be metal crafted. The question is, do I... Burn my pedal to play Basalt Monolith on turn one, I guess. I don't really know. Alright, so right off the bat, we know our opponent most likely does not have Force of Will in their deck. That might do it, actually. That actually does it. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. That key was very nice. Oh yeah, is that even a real deck is a nice tagline. Uh, I'll let you explain that meme, uh, Kelvin Dill. Because it's quite a meme. Right. I couldn't wait. Could I have played the Paradox Engine? One, two, three, four, five. I could have, but then that doesn't go anywhere, right? So I'm not supposed to. All right. Um. Can I wait a turn and just play Engine and probably kill my opponent? Or should I play the Serum Powder off LED? Probably I'm supposed to wait for this Engine, right? Oh, I could burn it with Forge. Yeah, actually, that's probably the correct play then. Yep, you're right. This is already going off to a good start. I have no idea what's going on. Wait. All right, there were just two Serum Powders in a row. I guess, I think I'm just going to wait and play the engine next turn. Like, I don't think their deck can kill me next turn, really. Oh, the chat excerpt is in the beginning of the article. Just copy and paste it. I think it's pretty funny if I recall correctly. Oh, yeah. It's Bing Luke and Charles Starling. Oh, man. I miss those guys. Hatred. Actual hatred. And Rotting Registrar. So that means their deck has Dark Ritual and stuff like that. Um... No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna draw it. All right, that was kind of good. So one. There's gonna be a wild turn this turn. So basically, we're gonna be able to play a lot of cards in our deck this turn. So untap trigger on the stack. Nah, I, I want to keep that. It's 
So if I play if I play the powder first, it's actually a mana rock. And I want to draw that key, I think, so I will. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna float a bunch of mana. Alright, that's fine. Basically have infinity mana now for some definition of infinity. Oh, whoops. Did I mess it up? Yeah, I guess I messed it up. Does it matter? Probably not, right, Matt? Alright, this is probably the least interesting part of this deck, if I had to guess. I basically have DI mana. Whoops, I untapped my own Voltaic Key in resp well, uh, You're not supposed to do that, but I don't think... Again, I don't think it's actually going to matter. Alright. Is this the kind of nonsense you live for, Matt? Or is this more uh, Justin's territory? Oh, Keon Forge makes it so I can't fizzle unless if there's like five lands in a row, right? No, we don't really. I might just stop doing it because it eats so much time. Alright, I'm going to stop doing it. Alright, our opponent's dead now. Uh, yep, that's fine. Float the Mox Resolve. Keep the second Mox. Play this. Crack all my leads for mana. This is a lot faster than Bomberman, actually. This is way easier than Bomberman. Uh, no, we can't Bane fire them, Stu, because that's not an artifact. Uh, I guess I side in some number of... Tormod's Crypts. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I, mean, I think I'm just gonna side out all my chalices on the draw and side in three Tormod script. Actually, Defense Grid kind of blows, so I'm gonna take that out. They appear to be mono black. So, I assume their mono black deck has is gonna have a hard time of interacting with me, but I... I think I saw a list for this deck. It was some bardment, actually. But let's let's go check. Where did I see it? I remember seeing it at some point. It was like Pizza Pies was the username. Pizza Pie Bob. I believe it might not this might not be the exact list, but it might be close to this. Um because we saw a hatred, that the original list did not have hatred, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna side like this and leave it alone. Uh thank you, Honorog, and thank you, Grape Shot. Uh Raceland, I think it pretty quickly, if it is actually broken. It's like actually a pretty good card in Tron, I think. Uh, well, this does something stupid again. Oh, is this wow? This is a weird interface for Serum Powder. Okay, but obviously this hand's like great, so I'm not gonna roll again. And our opponent skipped their turn one. Uh, Ross, the deck list should be on the side.
Next turn, I'm going to play Mystic Forge. Yeah, my face is on the side, but the other side probably has the thing. So are they also like... Alright, that's not... That's not going to be close to good enough, I think, opponent. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. So I can play Thran, Dynamo, and Mystic Forge. Yeah, I think that's the play. I take two, but that's that doesn't matter. Like, the Tormod script means I can't really get punked out by anything, right? Well, if they have double force of vigor, so what? Like, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. I think they're just dead. They kept a zero lander for some reason. I don't really understand why. <laughs> All right, I guess that's probably good enough to win with. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah, it's time to do stupid stuff. Uh, I should play all of my mana. I should have actually played my mana rock first. That was a good hit, yeah. All right. It is GG, I think. Oh, I was supposed to respond in exile with that Mystic Forge. Whoops. Thank you, B Rog. Um. Let's see i guess i'll st is there any reason to have a second mystic forge in play i guess if i get enough mystic forges i'd play around no that doesn't even play around it so i should just exile it which i was supposed to do earlier all right all right i'm not gonna auto yield to that because something crazy might happen uh play the mocks All right, with the trigger on the stack, exile at the tomb. All right, that's fine. Float of white. Keep the second opal. This is just this is just nonsense. Oh, tap my Thran Dynamo. Untap it. Float, float. Play that. Always use the white mana first. So yeah, that's fine. Well, that's the problem, Anurag. I don't think turn two blood gas is beating this deck ever, right? All right, that's fine. This is kind of repetitive, but whatever. Um, basically, every artifact is like infinity mana. All right, exile that. That's good. That's fine. I think they're dead, so I'll just show them the Karn. Oh, if that's their plan, should I play around it by getting Lattice then? I guess I'll just get the Lattice. If I get Lattice, that actually technically plays around it, right? I still win? Oh, I do still win. Actually, I could just go for another Karn. I could just get another... I could keep comboing to another Karn, right? So even if they have Mindbreak Trap, it is not really anything except a minor nuisance. So I'll just make X equals 20, which is not too bad. 17, 18, 19, 21. All right, 21. 
right. So they got killed on turn two and turn three, respectively. That's kind of nice. I didn't have to mulligan, though. My hands were, like, pretty good. So. Now, uh, this is turn three of uh, game two. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really nice. That's so good. Thank you, Squee. That's really, really nice. I don't remember that existing before. Uh, I don't think so. I, like, I drew, like, top 5% hands both games without mulliganing, right? So I don't think that that's a good sample size to say the deck is nuts. But that is a really nice feature. I killed on turn 2 in game 1 on Rock. Because I drew the Paradox Engine. Also, I drew a uh, Voltaic Key to play a turn one Mystic Forge, right? Uh, I guess there's four Inventors Fair, right? So, like, you you can actually find... You can actually find the uh, Paradox Engine pretty often because you have four fairs. My weight is making a loud noise. It's... All right. The buzzing was driving me nuts. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Susurus MTG was playing it. This is, uh, Prison Mike's baby. Uh, I have the Mystic Forge. I have mana. I'm not going to powder my hand. So I keep... I guess my turn one should just be Tomb, Key, Key, Go, right? Mike, I can imagine it. Yeah, it seems... This is like a much worse version, but I saw how broken it was already, sort of. Yeah, top's actually probably pretty good with Paradox Engine, Voltaic Keys, so. Mike, I also suspect uh, Prison Mike took the Vintage version as a place to start. Uh, whatever. It's fine. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to just go all in. If it gets forced, whatever. Thank you, Raceland. So I guess I untap my monolith and play Serum Powder. I guess I should exile the top card first to see what actually happens. Okay, well, that's better. Hmm. Do I Chalice for one? I already have two mana rocks. So I could play my Serum Powder, Chalice for one. I don't want to Chalice for zero. So the question is, do I Chalice for one or two? Probably just for one. So I'll play my Powder and Chalice for one. It uses my entire turn, but that's fine, I think. Like, I'm, I'm pretty far ahead, so I just want to eliminate some weird thing that could happen to me. It shuts off all my the rest of my keys, but two keys is enough, I think. So. Alright, and we stop. That's fine. That was a pretty good turn, too, still. Like, upkeep, I should activate my forge to exile that. I don't think another land is good. I don't know what other people think. It seems correct to me, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just mill it. This mirror seems horrendous. Whoops. 
do I need to do? Uh, untap this, right. I should always use my manifold keys first, actually. Uh, I should just play the one on the top of the deck. Uh, yeah. Can you win? Oh, that's, that's funny. Uh, right when I said it didn't matter, but it's whatever. No, the worst nightmare is definitely Null Rod. Alright, the Inventor's Fair is a really good pickup. Like, Null Rod, Collector, Ufa are just unbeatable currently as constructed, but that's okay. Uh, did I play a land? I did not. Um, just say go. Pulverize is not as good as Null Rod. Like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. It, you did say that. I actually do remember you saying that. You you did, in fact, say that. All right, so I want to draw that. Ooh, that's pretty good, too, though. That probably ends the game in a different way. I should tap better. I should tap like that. Hmm. One, two. All right. I think I'm going to just crack this and wish for a lattice. All right. <laughs> Turn four play, I don't know, just give them the business, I guess. So Wasteland, Strand, Tarn makes me actually think Rug Delver. So this could get tricky post board, but you know, whatever. You 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 just gotta you gotta live your best life. <laughs> it's true, Krasha. Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to decide out. <laughs> uh, so, to comment on that, here, technically yes, but the third manifold key is in the sideboard. But Voltaic key looks nicer, except this version does not look nicer. So, uh... <laughs> Take it as you will. Yeah, I, I mean, I could... Okay, so, Callum, I couldn't figure out how to request specific versions, but the main reason is Needle effects, actually. For, like, Phyrexian Revoker and Needle. But if if your opponent knows your list, they should Needle Karn the Great Creator. So, there is that. Um, I think I'm going to just... I don't think I'm allowed to side out Serum Powder, actually. Pfft, what do I do? Maybe this is the worst card because it's so clunky versus Delver. All right. I'll side like this. I don't know if this is like correct whatsoever, but it. I, w I think I want all of the defense grids. And if you resolve Karn versus your Delver opponent, you don't need to get grid anyways. So. Yeah, Dynamo, Dynamo strikes me as the correct card to side out because it costs 4 for a Mana Rock. Which is the worst rate versus the Delver deck. I'm just guessing, but it makes sense in theory to me, right? Alright, this hand is terrible, so. Um, yeah, this hand's good. I'm going to bottom, I think. Manifold key? I'm going to bottom Manifold Key. 
You could make a case for City of Traders, actually, but I, I think that's too greedy. Hey, Ross, what do you think of this deck? Can I convince you to play it in the uh, SCG? Yeah, I think he is correct. All right, this looks like a Delver deck to me. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. Um, so the question is, how likely does do I think I'll get wastelanded next turn? So definitely get rather this get wastelanded. Oh yeah, just play this deck on versus live, Ross. It'll be a blast. Like someone will love it. I don't know who precisely, but someone will. Um, all right. Guess. See what they do. Oh, they're already submitted. All right, fair enough. So note, even if they daze here, I can pay for the daze by cracking the lead. Okay. Well, this is probably pretty good for me. Hmm, that's less good. Alright, hope I don't get null rotted or something. No reason to play a second forge unless I think they have exactly destructive revelry or ancient ancient grudge. <laughs> Swarms Mackenzie eight. Well I was the bad guy yesterday. Our opponent showed us wasteland. Alright, that's fine. If they waste that I don't I don't really care. If they play null rod I care. If they just tap two lands and played null rod, I would just go to the next game. Do I want that at Adventures Fair? Probably not. I know that they probably don't have counter magic right now. Alright, well, mix things. Probably easier. It's not exactly what I want, but. I still cast it. All right, so they had the days in the opener, which makes sense. We still can't get null rotted next turn, so um, all right. I think I just have to risk it and not. If I get wasted this turn, I'll just exile the Grim Monolith, but. So the way I played turn one, it played around Daze, which made me think Daze was in their opener. All right, well, I, I guess I'm going to exile with that uh, Grimonolith now because I need a land. All right, ask and ye shall receive, I guess. All right, I'm going to actually exile with that. I don't think that is productive. All right. Well, all right. Well, we might die to our deck being too clunky this game, but it's fine. Oh, you played this deck in vintage? Grape shot? I guess a lot of people played this deck in vintage, so that's not too surprising, right? All right, I'm not going to exile this upkeep because, well, actually, maybe I should. This guy sucks. Um, do I want that card? I guess, like, probably not. Yeah, I, I'd, like, kind of prefer to draw a land, too, I think. Plus, I can untap the forge, I guess, so... All right, well, okay. Things are looking up. Now Now I think we're gonna get going, which is kind of nice. I'm keeping the mana rocks on top because I actually need them, I think. Oh, 
I'm looking for a grid before I play my Karn. Because there is a chance that they just, like, try to do that to me, I guess. Um... I'm gonna chalice for one, I guess. I think one key is kind of enough. Chalice five, insane. Uh, no, it's not insane, but did I actually have enough mana for that? I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Uh, maybe I should have. Well, I don't think I'm allowed to chouse on two because I think I need to, you know, do all those things. Oh, sure. I should be doing that. I, I was doing that last time. But you are correct. Whoops! I forgot to float. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. I don't think mana is going to be on bottleneck this game. All right, so I'll f I'll use Mystic Forge in response to cack that Crystal Vein because I don't want that. Yep, it can. So I, I should be more careful about that. You're right. Um, what's up, Cliffy? We're playing Artifact Storm. But I'm also playing Artifact Storm, Cliffy. This is a literal Artifact Storm. Do you agree with that? Uh, I mean, I also have the Karn, so I'd have to be really unlucky because I can just lattice them, right? right. <laughs> Too low so far. These games have not... I guess the game was kind of close. I mean, I got wastelanded twice, and then there was some flooding, but my opponent didn't actually have a relevant counter. Deck, deck has been fun so far, I mean. Mike Noble, come on, come on. It is, this is basically Storm. Every spell I cast is like a ritual. It's basically a Storm. God, Arcane, Arcane could be playing anything. Probably some like control deck. I guess I'll respond. Is this a keep? Ah, uh, sure, John. John, I thought you weren't going to play, but this is this deck is fun so far. Um, I think this is actually a mole again. I think the second card is not good. Your mana rock costing four is not great because you have to sack both veins. I, I think this is actually just a bad hand, now that I think about it. So I'll just mole. Uh, what does this hand do? Is this a keep? Probably. All right, what should I bottom? I'm going to keep this seven, but what should I bottom here? Damn. Is it crazy to bottom the chalice? Fair. 
I guess fair is not great. Well, I'm on the draw. I kind of want to bottom the chalice, actually. Uh, second path, good question. I would say variants, though. Just random variants. Yeah, I'm going to bottom chalice because of the... The, the only way the chalice is going to be good is if I crystal vein into it. And I don't want to live that life, really. <laughs> Alright, well, there's just another anyways, so... Um... Chalicing myself on zero seems really bad. Uh, what do I want to do now? I think fair pass is correct, yeah. What's up, Zack Attack Fire? I'm playing Artifact Storm Prison because I'm bored. Yeah, thanks. I'm already two with this deck, so I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm just living my best life, I guess. <laughs> just running hot, as the kids say. This card is really, really sick, though. This was like, oh no. I guess it's another Delver deck. Alright, but they didn't want to wasteland my uh, Inventor's Fair. Gers a ghost one. All right, how do I want to do this? This really sucks. I don't have a lot of permanent mana sources, so we're drawing the awkward part of the deck, I guess. Um. All right, I think I'm going to make what looks like a crazy play. I'm just going to Chalice on one off the Crystal Vein and not sacrifice it. If they waste me, it kind of sucks, but yeah, exactly. That's what I was working out, how to do that. But it, it's the best play, I think. If they daze, I should actually strongly... All right. I could also consider paying for this Spell Pierce. question is how do i win after i get wastelanded so i'll have a chalice on one inventor's fair versus their hand of four cards and volcanic well playing the opal first does absolutely nothing right you should actually not play the opal first like what well, what does playing the opal first achieve Oh, maybe that's better then. All right, but I'm just going to let this go, I think. I don't know. I, I kind of think I need all of these cards. I'm probably going to need the monoliths to win this game. So. This is one thing I was worried about. I'm not sure if this deck is actually good versus... Um, Delver decks in overall. Oh my god. Well, that doesn't look good for me. Alright. Alright. Well, we're probably going to lose now, but that's okay. I'll see if they daze. Right, they didn't. Alright. So I don't think they have any counters. We do have Mopal Petal. So. I think I might be dead. But yeah, John. I, I'm pretty sure this deck is really fun to play. And probably better when your opponents have no idea what's going on. Do they have a land? They don't, so that means they drew a permission spell, most likely. 
So that's probably not good for me. Because, like, they Ponder didn't shuffle and didn't play a land. Hmm. So they stacked Permission Stealth, Scalding Tarn, I guess, off their Ponder. I'm going to say go and see what they do. They're probably flipping their Delver. If they flip their Delver, I'm probably dead, but that's okay. All right, yeah. So I go to eight. I guess I can hope they don't actually have anything for this Karn and just get in Searing Bridge with my Karn. That's probably the correct play. I mean, all things considered. see what happens if it gets forced i'm probably dead but maybe they just have a bunch of soft counters like that's the hope all right that's interesting get punished by double bolt here but all right i'm gonna get bridge obviously as a force play okay uh i guess i'm not technically dead yet but i'm not in good shape I might use my lead end step to untap this basalt monolith. I haven't decided yet. All right, I don't really care about that actually. Yeah, I mean, I'm drawing live. It's not great for me, but I am drawing live. I should use the lead to untap the monolith, I think. Right. And I have to do it end step. All right. Let's see where it goes. All right, that's a good start. That's a very good start, although I can still die. Um, All right, so I basically cannot beat Lightning Bolt that easily anyways. Well, I guess the question is, can I afford to play around Bolt or not? Well, no, so, right. If they have Bolt, I die next turn anyways. So I should just keep going, I think. I should actually keep going. Um, the question is, how do I want to keep going? Because, so the option one is to untap this, play Mystic Forge. But then I have no mana. So I think I just have to take a risk and actually hope they don't have a bolt. So 
So I'm going to I'm going to make the line that leaves me dead to bolt, but I think I can't really beat a bolt anyways. So I'm go I'm going to make that play. Uh, I won the quarterly. That's not good. Right, I can't beat Bolt anyways. Alright, so I guess... Maybe they don't have Bolt. Maybe they just have a second run in six. So, in that case, I, tapping that, that was not great. Yeah, they can't actually have Bolt. That's true. Zack Attack Fire brings up a good point. So, I'm just going to say go and not die to a second run. Brogue8264. I side them in the mirrors and verse decks with true name. I should have just untapped my uh, monolith. All right, so I was right that they had a second run. So now, now this is not great because I actually have to win this turn. I guess I couldn't, since I can't get rid of that anyways, I lose. Cause I'm at one. No, I haven't had time to try anything. So I'm I'm dead. There's nothing I can do, right? I can untap this and do nothing. Playing the second forge does nothing, so uh, I'm dead. Was there a way for me to actually beat this? I don't think so. Not sure though. Um Just side out the Thran Dynamo and one Basalt Monolith, I think is the actual correct play. Because we're on the play, so I want all my chalices. All right, round three, game two. We have four defense grids in our deck. Maybe I want a second bridge, actually. I want a second bridge. What would I side out? Maybe I don't need the fourth car in versus some, actually. Right. I'll actually try that. That actually makes sense. I should have thought about it earlier, I guess. What does engine do? I don't think you're allowed to side out engine from this deck, period. Um, 
All right, so I have a turn one Mystic Forge, which seems like I should do. They don't always have Force. They only have it, like... It's probably about 50% of the time, given their Force of Negations as well. But it's not it's not a large portion of the time. Like, if you mulligan this hand, I think you're just giving up so much equity that you shouldn't be. And, like, maybe they'll Force of Will the Grim Monolith, even though I don't think you should... But it, it could happen, hypothetically. Again, the reason why I don't think you should force a will mana artifacts in versus deck, I at the beginning of the stream, I pointed out how many of the cards produced mana. It's like 35. No, because a lot of the time they just wasteland you, Pat J., Like, so if my if my opponent counters this, it means they're going to wasteland my City of Traders. And I would much rather they wasteland my City of Traders than my Ancient Doom, essentially. That's, like, not always the case, but that that's my reasoning. Alright, so they did force it. So I'm probably getting wastelanded here. All right. Well, they only have three cards now, so I think. Pretty safe to do this now because they can't daze it. Hmm. It's not really what I want, so I'll pay a life to exile it. I can't cast that, but I'll play my Mox Opal out and say go. Hope I don't get null rotted. Yeah, maybe, maybe the other way is actually better, Pat. You might be right. Top deck tomb? That doesn't even make any sense. You're like, literally the tomb was in my hand. I'm going to play around days. Exactly, exactly the reasoning I was using to ferry. Oh, a happy September, y'all. The bot just reminded me. I hope I don't get null rotted next turn. It would be pretty unpleasant, but it could happen. All right, plan conceded. Uh, 
Uh, I think I might shave. Oh, well, actually, this configuration seems like it was pretty good, to be honest. Oh, my dog. I love that emote, Cliffy. Thanks. Oh, my dog is a nice one. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Put it mold to six, so. I think generally they have to mulligan more versus you than you do have to, have to versus them. Uh, Skeptimist. Yeah, I mean, it feels right. Inventors here is really powerful, so. Yeah, I agree. Probably going to get null rotted here, but that's okay. Can't do anything about that. That's kind of scary. Wonder if I'm about to get wastelanded though. Well, actually, I might, but. Oh no! That was a reason not to play those out, but that's okay. I should have sandbagged the pedal, I guess. Oh no! So any counter would have to be um, a force of will, essentially. Which is actually pretty likely. Yeah, I was about to say, it's actually pretty likely they have one because they mold to six and play two wastelands. All right, I'm probably dead now, though. Because it depends on what their last few cards are. All right, no threat is actually good for me, so. Do I chalice on one, say go? I think I, I think I do, yeah. I think it's actually correct because it shuts off all of their cantrips. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? We are playing some nonsense. Look look at this. I have not played against any miracles today that I know of. Oh boy, that's not good. That's really not good. Probably dead now. <laughs> yeah, I mean dreams are made of colorless magic cards, except I'm probably dead here. I'm not going to play my opal out until I have something to use it on because of the grudge. Ah, that's bad. That's probably going to kill me before I get to do anything. Uh, say go. I can untap my opal twice. Play the manifold key. Maybe they'll grudge that one instead. Uh, we'll play another week after this, Squee. I, I'm entertained enough by this deck that I'll play two weeks with it, I think. Even though I think... I suspect the Delver matchup is not that good. I actually really do think the Delver matchup is probably not that good. They're probably just saving Grudge for a Mystic Forge, which is 
probably the correct way to approach this. Alright, well, that's probably going to seal it because... Well, none of my cards actually do anything is part of it. And I can't draw Mystic Forge in time because I'll take... Alright, yep. I'm deterministically dead because I'll take 6, then 6 before I draw anything good. Uh, round f four, we're two one. That was like kind of an awkward game, but it's whatever. That's true, quantum activist. That is correct. The, w the way the deck is built currently, that is correct. Oh, maybe I should have mulligan this end. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention for a second, but uh, I'm going to need to draw a gas card. This looks like Infect, if I had to guess. Can I hope they daze here? Damn, they didn't daze it. You could do that. Not, I'm not sure how good or bad that is, Skeptimus. I mean, this is my first few matches with the deck. What the hell is this brainstorm? All right. Not thrilled about this brainstorm art. <laughs> Well, so, but the, the point was brought up that if your cards get surgical, you basically can't win, and that is correct. Alright. Alright, that plays. Um... Guess I'll have to do it like this. Main deck Ballista is the most reasonable option, I think. Banefire is not good. Ballista you can tutor for with Inventor's Fair at least. Might be dead to invigorate, invigorate, actually. Yeah, that would be three, four, four, that would be 11. I'm dead to a lot of things, but can't do anything. All right, All right three infect. Yeah, I think the reality is if you are really worried about that, what you should actually actually do. Oh, that was pretty good. Um. Yo, thanks, Tannen. Uh, I should have... Ah, damn it. Tapping this tomb was a slight error, but hope it doesn't cost me. So it the only reason it's wrong is um well I'm going to do my thing first but damn that sucks All right. Uh the reason it's wrong yes VTC explained it. I should just tap both cities is the is the answer.
damn it. Sell that. I don't think I'm supposed to side in thought not. It doesn't seem good enough, but Yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. I think, generally, I don't want to approach the matchup like this. I think I just want to try to bombard them with threats instead of trying to answer their threats. Alright, I'll see you there, Steven. You should ask Edgar that knows too much. <laughs> I, I don't really have a strong opinion on that deck. Uh, this is a turn one Mystic Forge, so I will keep. I'm going to go City, Monolith, LED, Opal, play Mystic Forge. If they counter it, so be it. That's fine. Yeah, I said I thought about it, but I felt like I needed to do things that turn said. Because the problem is you're most likely dead on their turn, right? Based on how that board looked. I agree with that, Cliffy. That's that's the approach I'm taking. Alright, so I, I don't... I would actually... Well, actually, I'm probably going to play that land, so I don't want to exile my, full, my top card. Alright, I'll exile that. Do I convert my LED into a serum powder? Note, tutoring for the Paradox Engine doesn't do that much here, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Um, Yeah, I'm going to lead this serum powder. I think that's just correct. Well, that was pretty good. Yo, Stu, thanks for the resub. Happy September. I think I'm going to play another Chalice on one. Well, maybe... I can crack the inventor's fair. I'll have two up. Maybe I should just chouse on two, actually. If that turns off all my grim monoliths, then I might die to noble hierarch. Well, I can pair for a key, but here's the problem. Actually, maybe I just fair for engine say go. 
Or maybe I can just fair for engine next turn and spend my turn untapping the Grim Monolith, right? I guess I'll say go then. It's not like the most exciting, but I think it's actually the correct play. I don't think chalicing for zero is a very good idea. I guess I'm going to have... God damn it, this is the Eric deck. So... Let me say a few things about our opponent's deck. It has Windswept Teeth and Volcanic Island, and probably Verdant Catacombs and Volcanic Island as well. Um, but yeah, that's really bad for me. If I Chalice on two, it would have looked a little bit better, I guess. Oh shit, it's four to untap? Maybe I just... Oh uh, yeah, it should be Wooded Foothills and Misties. Oh no, they can they can just fucking grudge the other one too. Three, four. Alright. I would just draw the chalice and chalice on two. I would just chalice on two I think is actually the correct play. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, well, I mean, I have some of their infectors locked out, so. Uh, I mean, we have a fair number of two drops, unfortunately, but. And then we're going to lose now, probably. That grudge was pretty brutal. Yeah, I, I think I ran really, really hot versus you, Anarchist, Abe, I remember. Because you double-wasted me, and I killed you with my Delver. That's, like, pretty lucky, I think. Drawing Mystic Forge would be pretty good, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Oh my god. Alright, so this means hard cast force. Oh, I could have cast for bridge, yeah. I was contemplating activating the fair this turn. But it appears their checker pieces are capturing my capturing my like queens and bishops and knights, so Oh man, what do I do? Seems not very good for me all around here. I'm like 99% sure they have a force in hand. Um... Right, I'll just untap and see what happens, I guess. 
Why, God? Why? <laughs> uh, quantum activists, the thing about serum powder is it's actually good while you're going off. Also, Cliffy, I don't need to empty my hand for bridge because I can just use the lead to do it at any point, right? Not that, like, it really matters that much here. Because I think, I think I'm dead, but... I'm just chuckling that the Volcanic Island Verdant Catacombs deck one swept teeth in game one. So they, they copied they copied Landon's list without thinking about it, which I just find amusing. I mean I don't think alright, yeah, we're dead here. Exactly. They control C, control V. They copy pasted without thinking. I remember there was like a shadow list that won on Grand Prix that had flooded strand in its deck instead of any of the blue any of the Grixes fetches. They're just like a random random fetch land. Random flooded strand in their Grixes shadow deck. I'm just like, well, you have Blood Crypt in your deck. Alright. This is a pretty good hand. Three Pluto Delta with Storm. Why? What were the other fetch lands? <laughs> Ross, if you're here for my lamentations of stuff like that, you should just keep coming to the stream because it happens all at the gosh darn time. Alright, Penance Grand of Five. We're two and two in this league, but I don't know. The deck is kind of entertaining, so I'll probably play it another league. We definitely got to do our things in the first two matches, and then now, like, the last two matches, we kind of, I don't know, just got killed. We have Grid into Mystic Forge. Here, I, I don't care about Wasteland, so... Karn was better in EDH. What's the problem with Karn in EDH? I guess it dies really easily because everyone has like random creatures out. Yeah, I could Lattice. Uh, it depends on what they play on turn one. Oh, they killed sideboards? Oh, well that's... Uh-oh. That's fine. As long as long as they don't carn me, I'm fine with everything that is occurring. Alright, well, guess what, nerd? He did not carn me, so I'm still going to play out my stuff. That was a very good draw. I the the card that is scary from them the the two cards that are scary, fiery confluence obviously backbreaking, and um. Their cards are really good, like their cards are better versus me than my cards are versus them. Uh, I think I need to draw that paradox engine actually I think, because what what needs to happen is I need to like basically one shot them. You're talking about Despotic Scepter, Cliffy? Um, maybe I don't want the engine, actually. Uh, I think I do. I'm not sure, though. Maybe keeping that is wrong. One, two, three...
What are you gonna get? Do I just get Walking Ballista to play around Karn? Or do I just... Oh, I should just... Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, here's actual play. I should just crack this. Oh, no, but the engine disappears. How critical is the engine, do you think? How likely am I to win if I just coat them this turn? Yeah, but I would have to hit a second Karn. The question is... How scared am I of them carning me with off spirit guide? Because if they have land spirit guide carn, I pretty much lose. Plus, good, they can't confluence it. But Cliffy, the card I'm scared of is their carn. I'm going to make a conservative play. Right, exactly. That's, that, that's what I'm thinking, uh, Nick. I think that is the best play. I was just working out all my options. Now that's true, too. But this is pretty safe. I mean, I think this mostly wins the game because I'm going to last them next turn, so this is just deterministically a win. All right. Uh, I think this is a matchup where I want Dawn Nuts here. I do not think I want these Chalices in my deck. I think if I was going to do Chalice, I would have to, like, Chalice on four or some, like, absurd thing. Don't really want Defense Grid in my deck either. I think I'm going to side in the the sixth key into my main. Um, I guess I'll side in the ballista to play around like weird surgical. Maybe maybe this is bad to side in. Chalice on three. What does that accomplish? All right, I have to put one of these like bad cards into my deck and I don't know which one. It's like bridge or chalice, I think. Defense grade for a braid, sure. Or ratchet bomb. Actually, probably ratchet bomb is the best one to side in because I don't want to wish for it because that's too slow. Crypt is good with opal, that's true, but I think I think this is probably the correct play, but it's I don't know, it's kinda close, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to wish for bombs. So I'm gonna side in the bomb. I definitely could see that not being correct, but Yeah, I do not want Chalice in my deck versus this matchup because like it just costs me mana to cycle through it because I do not want to chalice on zero. kept um i think i still have to keep though unfortunately yeah it, this is a turn one forge wait it is right did i, I miss something vein sack i guess if i get magus it isn't Uh, 
Oh, that's really bad for me. That's fucked. All right. Uh, that's actually really, really, really bad for me. No, I don't concede. I'll concede when I'm dead. No, I don't think so. That card does not look that good to me, second path. Trying Urza's a one of, fair enough. So I can play this, untap my monolith, play Mystic Forge, then what? I guess I'll see where I, where I go from there. This is like really, really good for me. <laughs> All right, well, I thought not. I guess I'll play the Thought on that next turn, at least have a blocker. So it's not the end of the world. This is a Fiery Confluence, I'm going to back it in though. It looks, kind of looks like that's the case. Alright, okay. All right. I, I can't recover in time before those kill me. Like, not even the Thought Knot will be good enough by that point, so I'm just going to pack it in. Um, really, Confluence is huge versus the deck of all artifacts. Alright, just going to submit this. Yeah, I mean, we got three bold on turn one. Which obviously happens. I'm not like annoyed by it or whatever. Alright. This is a really good hand. I'll have to decide how I want to play it. Very calm Sith. I'm a Sith? That seems like an insult, but I'm not sure. I joined Delvers. I'm playing this deck. I, I switch decks like every, every league. That doesn't make me a Sith. Are you a Sith for playing Delver? Yeah, I'm a scientist slash statistician. Turn one car encoding. I didn't do the math. I just assumed that works out. Said. Uh, three... Use two, go up to four, five, six. All right, yeah, that that work, that checks out.
like one, two, three, four. Do I actually want to cast this? Because I'll have one, two, go down to one, go up to three, four. All right, well, opponent didn't want to play anymore, so I didn't have to figure it out. I actually think not casting it is correct there, in which case, uh, I don't know. All right, so I uh, went three and two in that league. I don't think I'm going to change anything, but there were two subs, Grape Shot and Stew, so we're going to open two chests for them. Right, That that's what I was thinking, All right? Stu Summers, here's a chest for you. Oh, look, it's the enemy of the deck. What the hell is this card? <laughs> I've never seen this card. Scare Tiller. Uh, that is a weird card. All right, Stony Silence. Yeah, Stony is a nice hit. Scare Tiller is one sense. Right. Scare Tiller. Wait, what the hell? Is that all filters Tiller? What is it? What was it called? What the heck was this card called? Oh, quantity two is why it's not showing up. Yep. Uh, what was another card, Stony? All right. Gonna open one more chest for now. Grape shot. Here's what happened. Ooh, Chromox and Arch Archangel thin. Fun. Anything good? Anything good? This is one of my favorite cards. This card is responsible for my only, only Pro Tour cash. <laughs> I was playing Abzan Coco with Spike Feeder and Archangel of Thune and Court of Calling. So those are all sweet cards, obviously. Uh... Chromox. Where's the Archangel? Should be right there. All right, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, but I'll be right back for league number two. Don't go anywhere, and happy September, you all, and a shout out to Card Hoarder and Card World Live.
Alright, I'm back now. Your only gripe with Hogak is its weakness to Chalice. Yeah, it's not great. There's probably ways to fix that, but I didn't figure it out. Okay, let's try again. Oh, uh, we were 3-2. I lost to Blue-Green slash Ancient Grudge, in fact, and lost to you as well. It's okay. This is a bad hand. Oh, this is a keep, I think. Gonna bottom the Paradox Engine, I think. Let's see, two. I guess I could Powder, but I think this hand's better than the average London Mold of five. I'm not comp I could bottom Powder, too. Actually, two. Maybe that's correct. I guess the question is, turn one Karn, bottom powder. This Paradox Engine does not look castable if I do that, though, right? Like, so, if you map out how much mana you're using, what is the engine going to do? Because your Monolith is tapped. The, the problem is the Monolith will be tapped, so you'll have just an Ancient Tomb. Well, I'm, I'm not bottoming the LED. The question is powder versus engine, I think. These are the only two reasonable options. So I think... I think I'm going to bottom the engine. Maybe not. All right. <laughs> Damn, it's so close. Well, first off, we don't know our opponent's a he, uh, arcane, so let's not assume. Second off, yeah, we have five keys in our main deck. Uh, Orm, that's not the question. The question is, what are we going to do? That's the real question. Do I turn one Karn, or do I turn two engine, then turn three Karn? And if so, what is the play if I'm going to do that? I don't know. I can turn to engine and Karn? Oh, I can! Alright, I'm gonna bottom the powder then. Yeah. No, I think you all are right. I was just working it out. It's not that easy to figure out if that's even correct though, so I'm not I'm not I'm really not sure. Oh I'm definitely comfortable going all in. I just don't know the correct way to go all in goblin noodle soup. There there are multiple ways to go all in on this hand. The question is which is the best way, right? That was a really good draw actually. I'm going to play around days. I don't think it costs me very much. This is turn one engine now if I want it to be, right? The question is, should I play around anything?
It's turn one engine plus Karn if they have nothing. They mold, didn't play a cantrip. Nah, I'm gonna go for it. I just don't think, I actually think waiting is not good for me. Right, yeah, waiting does not seem good for me. If they force it, so be it. I actually would prefer they force this one than uh, than my Karn the Great Creator is also a thing you should notice, so. Well, so their life went down, so that means they have the force. Let me fish your true name. All right, I'll just say go now. If I draw another soul land or something, I can play the Karn around. Uh, uh, I guess this is just Blade, right? It looks like Blade. Definitely versus Blade, I think this play is correct. Alright. Alright. Land was one of my better draws, actually. Uh, maybe. I guess it doesn't cost me anything to do that, but I I think most of the Blade decks that go Basic Island do not have days, so I think you're technically correct, but it's also not going to matter this game. Um, so let's see, what do I want to do here? If I get Coding... I guess I should just get bridge and play it. Actually, maybe getting coding is better. So the, the, the one issue with getting coding is... No, I think it's actually bridge. Yeah, I think bridge is correct. Yeah, exactly. So if you get coding that turn and you coding the Tundra, they just activate their Stoneforge. So it's not even that exciting. And if they don't want to do that, they can just attack your Karn for one. So I think getting the bridge first makes a lot more sense. Also, this is actually good versus Council's Judgment, because if you do this, they have to judge both of them. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Lattice. Do you have spell pierce or force? They do have not have either, so they die. All right, that was fun. We drew pretty well, but that can happen. So, battle res Arthas. I do not think most games you're allowed to keep a hand without Karn or Mystic Forger Inventors Fair. We had Karn that game, so it was a one uh, Planeswalker plan in and of itself. But I think 
most of your hands on seven, if they don't contain one of these cards, you're not allowed to keep. Yeah, and also you just saw that game plan. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't think... Maybe I want more grids, but... I'm not sure. Uh, Kalugaru, I like it more than Eldrazi Post or Red Prison. Yeah, that that sort of is the plan, I think, Battle Res Arthas. Sort of. It could be a glorified Belcher deck, I don't know. Should I side in more grids? I guess I just prefer this style of Belcher deck to actual Belcher. Uh, well, Kalugaru, I don't enjoy playing either of those decks. Is that good enough? Sure how am I supposed to board? I guess I'll side out two serum powders, maybe. I think versus blade, I'm allowed to keep a slightly slower hand, so I'm gonna side out two powders. That might be crazy, but I'm um, I'm doing it. No one can stop me. I don't know. It might suck, but it might not suck either. This is a pretty good hand, so. You forgot Hogak Belcher. Should I Chalice on one or should I Grim one with? Yo, Death and Taxes, thank for thanks for the raid. Alright, I could go Monolith or Chalice on one. No, I can't go Chalice on one. Yeah, I should Grim Key first. The question is if I if I do this, shouldn't I just should I play my Mystic Forge instead? Maybe not. I don't know. I could lead with engine again actually. Yo, the be easy, thank you for the follow. Alright, I guess I'll play Engine. Is this what Yu-Gi-Oh looks like? So if I Chalice on Zero and untaps all of these, all my Zero Drops will be untapped, but I can play uh, Mystic Forge. Oh wait, this is fine because I can actually just carn my, I can carn away my chalice immediately, so it's just great. Yeah, exactly, I, I figured it out. Now they're dead for sure.
You almost wanted to test a second engine in this deck. Right. <laughs> oh man, suck it, Blue White Blade. Kathy Groot, thank you for the panda. Uh, it is fair. We lost the two decks with Ancient Grudge last week, Bry the Fry Guy. Playing against Bucket Man. Alright. I guess I have to powder this. I just literally have all mana. Well, here I have the Inventor's Fair as a threat later, so I'm going to keep. Note, there are two leads, and the bridge is gone, so. You should always keep track what you've powdered away. Um, this is an old habit of mine from playing Vintage Dredge. Look, I have I have plenty of bridges in my sideboard, so that's not an issue. And yeah, I know that, but I mean I'm playing out all my stuff in case that they have discard or chalice, so there's no reason not to. Now if I get like ritual hymned, I'm gonna regret it, but that's okay. I'd rather play around chalice or like counter spells. Or are they taxes? Can't even activate the inventor's fair productively, really because I would have to discard my Ancient Tomb. So I think I'm going to just wait on activating it. If they try to waste me, I guess I might consider activating it, but I probably still won't. All right, well, they're just taxes, so this is great. Um, Right, yeah. Yeah, I think this deck is really interesting. I mean, that could be okay, depends on what's on top of my deck after that. <sighs> Mystic Forge is quite a good card. Am I getting pre-weighted? Alright. Guess I can't cast that, but I still might keep the card anyways. Hmm, actually I think I should just dump that. Alright, yeah. Don't think I want to draw that. There's... Alright, that's good. Alright, that's really good actually. Oh. 
So we just kind of get to go wild. The Thalia is not anywhere good enough here. Yeah, I'm also glad that they waited to hold up Caracas. Hmm, what should I do? I don't think I care about this Thalia. Yeah, I'm thinking I just plus. But... So, the, okay, let me explain why I don't want to do that. I think pre weight is the most likely way I lose, so I want to leave the Ballista around. Well, what does Flicker Wisp do, Itai? How does Flicker Wisp beat me? I could Ballista and not pop it. That actually might be correct. Alright, I kind of like that actually. Yeah, I thought you realized I would only have three mana. I think this is still fine. Yep, mana burn for one. If they try to plow my creature on their turn, and I shoot the Thalia, at least they can't replay the Thalia. You're on mobile, you can't see shit. Oh. Uh, can I make it bigger? That I don't care about. That's like almost irrelevant. Dr. Magnolia, other than Forge, Lattice, what do Ancient Grudge in this deck? Well, the answer is it depends a lot on the board state, I think. So I can't give you a clean answer. Try to make your phone bigger than it broke. That sucks. So drawing the tomb, I think, is actually pretty good. So I will draw it. What happens if I lattice? It'll cost me seven to lattice. That doesn't seem very good. Hold on. Maybe I'll have enough to lattice and put a counter on this. I'll have six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess I should just get bridge. I could lead off by exiling my defense grid, actually. A lattice, I'm fine. Well, what does next turn look like? I'll be at three. I think I'm just going to get bridge. 
is the reality of what I think I should do. But I can exile my top card first. I guess I'll just get bridge. You think? Is there a Mystic Forge bug? Probably not, but you never know. Are they trying to cast Swords to Plowshares? Yeah, they can. I'm, a, I'm aware of that. Don't worry about that. Uh, there we go. Put it restyle again slowly, yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty hard for them to win, even if they have a Flicker Wisp. Alright. What happens if I kill their Thalia? That's probably pretty good for me, right? They just let it die? Yeah, I know. Uh, I think I'm going to go to... F five because i think five might be really relevant actually and it's better to have that in exile than in my graveyard what okay that's all right about it yeah having it in exile was way better for me I don't really want to draw that forge, I think. Or use my mana playing the forge, really. Alright, that's actually fine. I guess I can just plus on my grid. Oh, man, this deck is just delightful. I do not care about this defense grid. No, plusing on the grid is, I think, actually better. Like, by a lot, actually, I think. All right, let's see what I draw. Well, i sorry. Let's see what's on top of my deck after. Okay, well, let's take some game actions, I guess. Do I think this deck is better than Barman? No, I think they're different. Christ. Ooh, there we go. 
There we go. Did I use my Karn yet? If I haven't, I can just cycle this as a zero. So I, could, I can kill my own Chalice. I don't know if I'll need to or not yet. My suspicion is I will maybe need to. But we're going to take a lot of game actions now, as the kids say. Yeah, game actions, Pog. It does. I'm basically going to have infinity mana. I'm just going to do it fast now because I basically have the game won, but the worries about timing out now for basically no reason. One game one. I, I certainly dealt myself my opponent like 17 damage. Or I dealt myself like 17 damage uh, with that nonsense. So the worry is I get revokered out. So I'm going to side in the ballista and side out like defense grid. Probably side in one bridge as well. Oh, I dealt myself 18 damage? I gained a life? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Should have blasted Virus Call for first. No, I I don't like doing those things. They, they just eat time when you should be careful, I guess. All right. Uh, I think my primary game plan is pretty good versus them. I kind of don't. The chalices aren't great. Maybe I should just take out the chalices, actually. Chalice is, like, pretty bad in the matchup, I think. Thought Knot's, like, only okay, I think, as well. Um, I guess I'll side in the key. Leave the bridge and leave the lattice. The Bliss is in the main deck, so I'll have to dig for it, essentially, but that's fine. Chalice on 20... 
Well, so you can respond to Shining Shoal. If Shining Shoal for 20 doesn't work because you actually resolve all your activations one by one Morphling. Uh, damn, this has a lot of mana and I would have to top deck a threat. But on the other hand, this is actually good versus their mana denial. So I would have like two or three turns to draw a threat. Should I keep? I do have a free mulligan actually. So eight threats, eight over 53. No, I should just powder then. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is actually not the most insane, but this is fine. Note, one thing you have to worry about is if you actually powder away your engine, it is actually kind of better for you because you can go get it with Karn, but that didn't happen. Probably Wasteland Vile, yeah. This is not the greatest, but I have to do this. Right, it generally does not matter, Orm. I understand that. If I didn't understand that, I'd be a terrible statistician. Yo, Basic Swamps, thanks for the 13 person raid. There, it might be correct to actually have one in the sideboard ready J24. Hmm. Not great. Find an Andy. Thank you for the follow. I'm going to need a land. Or I guess a zero drop artifact works next turn. Good job. Good job with five owing with Dumir Shadow. Alright, well. I guess the other hand would have been better specifically versus double wasteland, but that's not a good way to think about things. All right, probably dead now. We have too many threats now. <laughs> if this is like anything good, I'm just completely dead. Uh, I guess this is like one of the ones I could use the powders now no i mean we're not full bone dead we're just mostly dead all right we can pack it in now All right, do I want Chalice on the play? That's the only question. Feels like I might. In which case I would just go back to my almost game one configuration. Maybe not a full set. Mono proactive card, so you wouldn't have Chalice in your deck. Alright, I'm not going to I'm not gonna chalice, I think period is the conclusion I think.
I'm going to uh, powder. I want to powder away that, I think. I'll put the one on the bottom. Well, it gets exiled to serum powder. Hope they don't waste me here, but if they do, I guess that up that happens. Hmm, that's really suspicious. Unless if they have a second wasteland, I guess. This is like, I don't know, that, that was, I, I don't even know what to say about that. That is just so weird to do. Yeah, it's a Karn prison deck. Itai, if the, you have Thalia, or if you have Vile Wasteland, It's not great either. I guess I'll play it out. If they revoker lead, I'm happier about that than actually getting anything else revokered. Yeah, it's prison combo, but this is not going great. I should have sandbagged one lead, I think. Or I should have just not played either, I guess. that plays yeah I guess that's actually fair that's a fair point Do I care about these? I don't think so. So I guess I have to ship that. Damn. It's a little bit yellowish. I agree. But, so they didn't Thalia us last turn. And they also didn't Revoker us, which means neither of those cards in, are in their hand. If they have a Recruiter, it might be awkward for me. But... See what happens, I guess.
the word tomict. It's not great. Cow deck. Thank you, but I don't think we're... I guess maybe I should have played Karn that turn. It didn't feel like it was correct to do so because I thought I had a pretty like high likelihood of killing them. I didn't really want to elongate the game. I wonder if they'll... Okay, well, that's actually fine. I mean, obviously, if I just hit all lands on top, I'm going to die to their creatures because I'm at five now or seven now but so fishing maybe i should have Maybe we should have carned that one turn. Look, I can't use my... I'm locked out of exiling my top cards, HC box. Literally, there's nothing I can do. So the, the play I could have made on that one turn was play Karn versus Mystic Torch. So... You can't play lands off Mystic Forge anyways, Cheesehead. Alright, guess I'm dead. So have I. I guess I could... <sighs> yeah, the, the, the Karn play... I guess maybe I should have Karned. One one. Yeah, I could have. Uh... All right. I get. I guess I should have played the Karn. It's hard to read cards. I think. I think that was the key decision in the match. Whether you should play Karn or Forge on that turn. I just thought the Forge would kill them so often that I didn't have to worry about it. But maybe that was incorrect thinking. Because if I just play Karn, they'll have two mana so they can't do much. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Alright. Okay. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was just bad to do what I did. Uh, let's see. I'll have three mana on turn one. So if I draw... Uh, wait. But I have to... Oh, I can Chalice on one still. Actually, I think this is a keep. So I go... Vein. Petal. LED, LED. Chalice on one. And then if I draw a... Uh, Mana source, I can play Mystic Forge. So.
yeah, Jonathan, it was a mistake. But it's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them and don't make them again. What is not really okay is to make mistakes and not learn from them. By the way, there are some scenarios where it's actually better to play defense grid on turn one, but I don't think this is one of them. <laughs> it's true said, it's true. I was just running good yesterday. All right, All right. this is working out very well. So obviously I'm gonna go for it. Obviously it could get force of load, but it didn't force my chalice. Pay for days. Oh no, the non bow. That's fine. I feel like the chalice from one is affecting my day's opponent more than it's affecting me, if I had to guess. So I can eventually get Paradox Engine. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Maybe I was not supposed to do what I did then. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. There's another grid. I might think he's a noob if he does it. Right. So now I can basically resolve any spell I want. They might have a threat here and that's okay. Oh, this is less okay. I don't like any of this. All right. that do it? Five. So if there's a zero underneath, that's pretty good for me. I'm actually one mana short of just tutoring for bridge. So I guess I have to just play let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So if I hit a one or a zero, this is really good. Cost five mana to craft the fair essentially. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the fair on tap, and it's really important you leave the fair on tap. Right. Well, that's that's good. I think that wins the game, right? Yes, I played KCI, John. You know that. We've had this discussion. Uh, uh, <laughs> I run my thing to my own chalice. Tap. All that. Keep that box. I'm going to use all the white. No. You can tell me, though. Actually, that's, that's sort of interesting as a hypothetical, I guess. It has to be astronomically low, though. 
sell that. Sell that. Oh shoot! Ah, damn it! Click the wrong thing. I hope that it doesn't cost me. I I wanted that card on top, obviously. That was. Damn it! Oh, well. I think this is recoverable, so it's fine. I mean, I th I think this is very recoverable, so. And I can always tutor for the bridge still. It was a Karn the Great Creator, uh, Matt. That's why it was sort of, like, awkward. Child's on 15. Well, there's the other card, thankfully, so just have to be careful not to exile that one for no reason. And there's the bridge, funnily enough. Probably want another bridge. Probably want these defense grids. Um, guess what? Can, I can side out Thran Dynamo, a Basalt Monolith, and probably. This would be a matchup where Walding Jar would be good, yeah. No, that was obviously a misclick. Yeah, key's still good, even if I, you're chalicing on one. It, it looks not great on paper, but I think it's still pretty good. I'm deciding what the last card to cut is. I might cut the fourth Karn the Great Creator, I think, is the reality. Maybe that's crazy. Display of Dominance is a magic card. Like, literally speaking. Alright, I'll side out one card. I I'm not sure about this. That might be loose. Also, it could be that Thought Not Seer is actually good in this matchup, but... Arcane concluded I was a scientist or whatever, I, I guess. Uh... Well, I don't think Karn's the best card in this matchup. But I could trim a powder, I guess. All right, I'll trim one powder. Well, the problem is, if I let them gristle brand me, they are going to kill me. I don't think that's really uh, something to worry about. So I'm going to lead on Chalice on one, I think. One thing that can happen in this matchup that I think is pretty funny is that if they cast Shontel and I put in Mystic Forge, there's sometimes they might die despite having, like, 
their big creature in play, right? I'll see if they daze my pedal. Kind of want them to, really. Alright, they didn't do it. So, if I do that, I play into daze. I don't know if I care about that. So the problem is I can't even play No, I can. All right. I guess I'll I'll do it then. We can come here to wait on our from our Mystic Forges. Should I run the chalice in there? Well, what does waiting a turn on Chalice do? Right. The, if you wait, it does almost nothing. Yeah, I'm supposed to Chalice here. Waiting on Chalice is possibly one of the... Oh, said that might have made sense, actually. Yeah, actually, Chalicing first might have been better. It's worse first days, though. Might be dead. This is the same play I made earlier. I could crack my fair, but that doesn't seem great. The problem is, if I play this out, I have to decide if I want to use my mana on the um, fair activation. Yeah, I think I lead Vayne too. It's kind of awkward either way. But I was just thinking about what could potentially happen. Yeah, I'll just play the, the Vayne and let my city die, but I think that's kind of like a weird spot. I don't even really want to play this card. It doesn't seem very good. <clears throat> Seems like I should just leave up the fair activation. Jam Karn? Oh, maybe I could have done that. Uh, I guess I can try doing that this turn. Now, obviously, it's worse to do it. All right, well, I guess now I can play Karn. I don't even really feel bad about it now. Oh, 
All right, well, <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. I should have played the card in the turn before, but drawing the tomb obviously made it a lot easier. But doing a turn, I don't think, in retrospect, doesn't make sense. All right, well, we're 2 1 in this league. Karn is a messed up card. War of the Spark and Modern Horizons were not real magic sets. I mean, obviously they were, but... I'm just only reading random memes. All right. Uh, going to match four of week two. Nice thing is these matches are fast. Frantic Pats. I think this is a lands opponent, if I remember correctly, but. All right, I'm gonna powder. This is a really bad hand. Key, Opal, Petal, Monolith. Uh, well, I guess this goes nowhere fast, so I should actually mulligan. This one, this one is good enough, I think, for almost every deck. I'm just gonna play both my keys out, and then. Um, guess, guess we'll see what I draw, but. Chalice for two is often better versus them than Chalice for one is. For a bunch of reasons. Obviously, if I get wasted here, it kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright. So I'll be. Hmm. Well, no, because they might just have another Dark Depths in their hand is the reality of what's going on here. The question is, do I want to Chalice for one now? Probably. No reason to play the lead out right now. Oh, that's bad. There's only three more one drops in my deck, Itai. Hmm. So I guess that's that's actually just not even true. Gambling on one is not even that great a lot of a lot of the time, Itai. Because you don't gamble on one if you have Ren in your hand. Because you actually want to gamble for the exploration later if you have Ren in your hand. <laughs> All 
Uh, in any case, playing this land doesn't accomplish anything except getting it wastelanded. So I'm not going to do that. Probably dead, though. And also, like, their post-board configuration probably has Force of Vigor, which is pain in the ass. Somehow I doubt that, but it's possible. So do I just get bridge? No, do not get lattice. We have to get bridge. I guess I just minus get bridge and don't play those out. Wait, why should I cast Basalt? Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cast her or not. Actually, but next turn I can lattice them. Actually, I think it'll be one. Untap this. I'll have two floating. Five. Oh, wait, I guess I can't do that anymore. They're going to waste my fare, though, I guess. All right, so I can't do that. I can plus. Hmm. Turning Mox into a dude doesn't do that much, does it? Oh, also attacking doesn't do anything. Okay, I guess I plus on the Mox then, yeah. Yeah, attacking, sorry, I maybe would have figured that out, who knows? Who actually knows if I would have figured that out? Right. Should I just... I could untap this. Yeah, getting the powder into play is probably good.
So I have a lot of good draws in my deck now. Well, that's not one of them, but I'll still cast it, I guess. That's a race. X equal two does win the race. I mean, hypothetically, they could deal me 20 with uh, Ren and Six, I guess, but it's really unlikely for that to happen. All right, well, that wins the game, I guess. Unless if they have a second Punishing Fire, but I guess I don't play around that. Well, they can't have Barbering because we have shut off crop rotation. No, I'm just going to grab Lattice. Does, is, Lattice is actually lethal. All right. That was a weird game. Okay, now it gets more challenging because they have a bunch of Force of Vigor. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that, but I think I am going to side in Thought Knots for that reason. I guess I could grid versus force, but that seems really shitty. Because, like, chances are they can... Um, what was I about to say? Yeah... Yes, I'm gonna just like. Great is a perfect anti vigor attack. Yeah, probably need to overload it, so I'm not gonna put grid in my deck. I think I'm going to just take out all of the powders. Well, Tyler, I think we'll get Force of Vigor before that. I'm going to just side out all of the powders. That might be wrong, but it's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I can Chalice for one and have a Soul Land. And then if I draw another zero drop, I can play Mystic Forge on turn two. Uh, that is true, Itai. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> that seems not like a good thing to do. So if I don't play the Opal out, they might not just, like, they might just blow their force on the, just the, ch the Chalice. <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to say. Sylvan Library is an all-star in this matchup because, like, we don't really pressure their life total, so it's going to be kind of scary. Right, they took four once.
guess I can play another Chalice from one and see what they do about it. They might force me here, and I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Force is a pretty brutal card to play against, obviously. Like, Rack and Ruin used to cost two and a red. Even Ancient Grudge costs one red-green. That's not good. Soul Land would be good. I'm gonna play this out. If they force these two, I don't care about it really. Probably going to lose this game to the slow chokehold. They can, so one thing you can also do, not that they're going to do it here, is they can stage their blast zone and use blast zone to kill both of these, but it kills their mocks too. So screwed. That doesn't even do anything. It'll be so if I float one, play my chalice for zero, then I die. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, just say go. Might be dead anyways. Save crop rotation, I lose. So that's the other problem with Crypt vs. Them. I think a lot of times it's not even really that great. But it is a cheap artifact for Opals, so... It's probably good enough. Tomb, Monolith... I'm just going to bottom the bridge, actually. What's up, Bladowski? Leaving in Maze of it is really weird. Note, Sphere plus Force is not actually a great combo, unless if you have one extra mana lying around. One, two...
I'm gonna get coding, I think. And then they'll be pretty screwed. I could get Lattice, but I could also just wait a turn getting the Lattice. And also now they're locked under their own spheres. I don't really think they should have sphere in this matchup, especially on the draw. I agree with forces, obviously, and Crows and Grips really good as well, but um, they don't always board in Sphere. Stackzilla. I agree that's the problem, but I think the answer is to just mulligan into a fast hand said. I think Sphere on the play is probably good, but on the draw it seems a little bit worse. Anyways, we're playing for 4-1. This is a pretty good hand. I have a turn one Mystic Forge. And our opponent's going to six cards. Yeah, that punt was pretty sad. I, I'm i just thinking about it a little bit more and that was clearly incorrect. It's time for a Nick opponent. Unfortunately, our deck has no basic waste in it, so Veteran Explorer is like a really good card versus us, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Oh, what is this? Alright, I guess I don't have a turn on Mystic Forge, but that's okay, because this is probably fine for me besides that. Uh, I guess I still go Monolith, though. Is it Mirror? If it's mirror, it's horrible for me because, like, well, it might be horrible for me. We'll see what happens. Could be, like, red stompy or something else as well, so. All right, it is mirror. So, one, two, Three, four, five. All right. I think I'm in pretty good shape, actually. One, two, three, four, five. We can play the engine. So five, yeah. Engine, key, forge, yellow is the plan. Because I don't really want to play longer versus their setup. Karn is the best card in these mirrors, yeah. Alright, nice. That is... Alright, so this is actually okay, I think. Let Jarvis have his fun. Yeah, I I think I'm actually like in astronomically good shape now. 
especially since we have a lot of life to work with for this. All right, well, that one's the game, I think. All right, well, that was the free one because I was on the draw and killed my opponent on turn two. It's Prison Storm, yeah. Just trying to take out all the cards that don't do anything for almost anything that does anything. Um, I have to leave these two in the board. So I guess this, this, I guess Tormod script is a zero. <laughs> You're happy that Null Rod exists? So if I draw a soul land, I'll have turn one Karn. <laughs> 0.13%? I like those odds, Matt. All right, serious question. Am I supposed to keep? My opponent has kept seven. Answer is probably not. Like, I don't think even a turn two. It's not a guaranteed to turn two card, anyways, so. Uh, I should powder this hand. Leave. Mox up on my deck. I guess. Oh, I should have left it sitting in the deck. Yeah, that might have been better. I think this is actually a keep. Obviously, I could still die. But. Uh, might be getting turn one card. That happens. It happens. Just Mystic Forge. Just. All right. Probably dead now. It says like vintage. Yeah. I mean, just gonna say go and hope I'm not dead. I'm actually just gonna F6. Let them have their fun. Yeah, this deck would be better if I had Mishra's Workshop. I agree with you, Stu. No, there's a Walking Bliss in the sideboard, Theo. There's one Paradox Engine in the main deck, so you can, like, produce a shit ton of mana, and then you can wish for Walking Ballista. Obviously, once you have Karn, like, you can win any number of ways, really, so... Time to play this Mystic Forge. Oh, 
Uh, in game one, it does Itai. You can technically board in the Walking Bliss if you want, Itai. Forge was restricted for workshop sins. Yeah, I mean, shit happens. Workshop is a saint. So one issue with that Itai is the Chalice on 1 generally covers it, um, depending on what deck you're playing against. Obviously it still might be correct actually, but I mean, that's I'm just saying that is one thing that could occur. They might activate their Inventor's Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Karn is never getting Legacy Man as long as Forge is there. Yeah. Probably correct. Uh oh. Oh, I guess I'm kind of lucky that my opponent's sort of fizzling. Maybe I should have just played Dynamo, actually. Oh, no, this was off the top of my deck, so probably not. Guess I need to hope. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to block if they attack. Mill TKS. Uh, yeah. Actually, that might have been better. To be fair, I didn't even consider it, but probably should have. Yeah, I really cannot give them turns. Uh-oh. What is this? Probably something big and stupid. Okay. I can leave this game now. I guess I'll see if they actually have last on their sideboard, but... All right, game three of this beer, which seems horrific. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna change anything, I guess. I just, just give me a turn one Karn deck. Maybe I should just mow again aggressively Tron style to turn one Karn. This ain't it. Key, key, pedal. So is it turn two Karn with two keys in play? The question is, what do I bottom? I think I'm supposed to keep this. I'm debating what to bottom, though. What do you think? Probably pedal? Key? Okay. I'll bottom my key then. I'm not I'm not sure, but I'm 
Mana is spine to walk with engine. What does that mean? I'm trying to figure out what that, what you said, what that means, but I have no idea. Uh, do I play out the other things? Probably because of Chalice. They could just like blind Chalice, so I'm going to play my stuff out. This seems horrible for me. I'm probably dying in the fire now. Uh, you can, but they they try they they run copyright checks on music essentially, basic swamps. Yeah. Yikes! Their hand was better, I think. I also don't like playing music because I can't think through it, personally. I'm probably dead now, but we'll see what happens. Alright, that was a punishment for doing that. Kind of sucks, honestly, but I was playing around Chalice, but maybe that was just wrong. I'm out. Uh, all right. Hope I don't die. I'm just gonna have six because I can't do anything. Yeah, it seems really, really, really not fun to play these mirrors. Yeah, playing this deck versus decks that don't have Karn is probably fun. Sub Chase Ha, huh? it's been a while, friend. <laughs> Man, I was fine to walk with engine. They have four more key hooks. Yeah, I'm pretty dead, I think. It would take like an extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary bricking to, uh, is that a card place word?
I really do like these engine decks, but the problem is the engine deck mirrors are not fun. Wait, what makes them a Jedi and I'm not a Jedi Arcane? I'm 3 CPO. Yeah, that's true. Oh my gosh, my opponent bricked! That's not good. Um... Do I want to play that Forge? Problem is I don't have that much mana. I think we have to cast it, but it's not even that great. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it, but it's it's really not exciting. Thank you for the follow. I'm sort of like off my. Oh, god damn it. All right. They get another turn, too. Oh, boy. They're really low. They have so many keys. Fucking these mirrors. Uh, I really need to play sensitive iron top. Uh, I mean, I would play sensitive iron top if I could. Oh boy. Oh, well, Mike, you saw me. Saw me die in a mirror match. I think the most important thing in those mirrors is to mulligan correctly, but I, I tried my best, right? Uh, I think going forward you probably should play a Paradox Engineer sideboard. Maybe not though, because like, the thing is... Five... Five is only one less than six. So the thing is, playing... Uh, maybe it's correct. I don't know. One in one engine. So you don't have these cards. You probably don't have these cards then, right? An extra monolith. I kind of like that. That that seems like it might be good to me. No. Assault Monolith, I guess, right?
Uh, yeah, Aramath. One grid to the board for what? For another Basalt Monolith? So does your deck look like this? Yeah, I was not terribly fond of having so many defense grids in my main deck. It did not seem like a good way to go about things, really. Uh, yes, Aramath. I mean, the thing is, I don't think it really matters what your win condition is once you have Karn, plus, like, infinite mana. Obviously, it's nice to one-shot them, but hypothetically, if you went off with this deck, what you could do is you could assemble... Oh, wait, is there no monolith in your sideboard? Gothanic Key is real bad. That's from Mirrodin, if I recall correctly. Okay. So, the, the real problem is, like, I think Ancient Grudge is just so good versus deck that it's probably not overcomable. Null Rod obviously it's lights out, as we could tell. I don't know. The deck is pretty entertaining. The problem is, like, I'm not convinced your Delver matchup is actually good for this deck. I guess you're better versus like non-blue decks with this deck than you are with Bomberman, essentially. But I think you are definitely worse versus Delver with this deck with no caverns, and your mana base is like pretty soft to Wasteland, I think. Yeah, I believe that will happen relatively often, Morphling. It does spit out Karn faster than other Karn decks. The problem is when you play precisely a mirror match, that doesn't really matter. Um, in case, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. I've been... Doing this for almost four hours now. NBC stands for no bad cards, so it cuts Stifle and Mongoose. Uh, let's see who else is streaming. We'll pay it forward to someone else streaming this deck. All right. Thanks for showing up. I'll be back on Thursday streaming something else. I'm not sure what.